Alright, so you guys weren't satisfied with the new Silver Eyes graphic novel cover. You wanted more. I, I don't know, guys. There's there's not really much else, you know? It's not like there's loads of other games coming out. It's not like there's a freaking movie coming out. You know, books? You guys aren't into books? Read a book, okay? What do you want? VR news? Come on, can't you just wait another month? It's coming out pretty soon. What, you want movie news? Bro, we don't even know if they're still writing the script or not. What else do you want? What else do you want? FNAF ports? Um, I actually worked in that office before you. Well, would you look at that. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video where this was actually uploaded to the Click Team Twitter right as I was recording the previous video about the Silver Eyes graphic novel cover. Which, by the way, if you want to check that out, it's linked down below. Go check it out, it's pretty cool. But, anyways, this is looking amazing. Click Team is doing an absolutely incredible job bringing FNAF and all the games over to different platforms, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, iOS, and Android. We only have Nintendo Switch footage, unfortunately, but hey, it's better than nothing. And again, I just can't express how awesome this looks. FNAF 1 on the Switch is going to be super cool. Now, I'm not going to react to this footage simply because I have already seen it, but I'm gonna have no face cam on this so you guys can see the complete full video. I will be talking a little bit throughout it just to explain my thoughts on the game and point out some details that are in the Switch version that are not in the PC version. So yeah, the full video, you can check it out. It's linked down below. Just go to Click Team Twitter's, um, Click Team's Twitter in the description below. Watch the video. You can watch it through the whole way through without I need to shut up. Now I put away the face cam just so you guys can see the entire video. I will be stopping at some points to point out some things. I'm not going to be reacting to it because I've simply seen it already. But if you guys want to watch it the entire way through without stopping, there's a link down in the description to this very video on Click Team's Twitter. Go check it out, come back here. And now, let's watch it. So here we can see, actually we have something to discuss right now. Not only do they have some killer games already, but they have FNAF. So as you can see, um, if you are unfamiliar with the Switch, this is the game menu screen where you can choose the game you want to play. You click on it, or I guess you um, you have the Joy-Con. Maybe this would be better with face cam. I don't, I don't know. You have the buttons, and you click the A button on the Pro Controller, I mean on the on the Joy-Con, or maybe on the Pro Controller, and it opens up the game, and on the menu, there's little photos of the game. Here, as you can see, Five Nights at Freddy's is simply just a picture of Freddy. This is what FNAF 1's profile picture looks like on the screen, so now let's actually jump into the game. As you can see, it was simply titled Five Nights at Freddy's. If I can pause it at the right time. Five Nights at Freddy's. And then you open it up. You get the simple warning screen that you usually get. Warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. And then it takes you to the classic FNAF 1 menu screen. The only thing different on this is that, actually there's a few things that are different. Number one, it is version 1, rather than version 1.31 or whatever the PC version is at. It also has copyright 2014-2019 Scott Cawthon. And then there's also unlocks. It is unclear what that button is going to do, and I do don't even have a guess, maybe it'll unlock a secret cutscene, maybe that's where you can unlock the plushies that you then put in your office, not sure. Then again, um, it's gonna be something secret, I know that for a fact. Anyways, let's click new game. And something I actually noticed here is that the menu music, 
when you click on new game, it actually changes ever so slightly if you listen closely. That then brings us to the classic help wanted newspaper clipping from the first game. It is exactly the same, there is nothing different about it at all. Again, the music is slightly different. And then 12am first night. And then we load into the office. Eventually. There we go, and right off the bat, you can see that everything looks basically identical. I honestly couldn't find any differences between the Switch version and the PC version. Then again, it might just be the lighting of this video, but who knows, maybe there is something different, but now we get to fully explore FNAF 1 through the cameras. Something I should discuss right here is that there was no cursor on the Switch version. That means all the controls, doors, flipping up the camera, and switching cameras must all be performed on either the Joy-Cons or the Pro controller or some other type of Switch controller that I don't know about. So that is going to be interesting to see because I don't know how many cameras are in FNAF 1, I honestly forget, but we're going to see that in a little bit. So yeah, doors and lights are controlled by buttons, Flipping up and flipping down the monitor are also button controlled. Again, everything outside the office looks identical to the PC version. And here is the camera system. Everything looks the same! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there are a total of 11 cameras, and I can tell you for a fact, that is more cameras than there are buttons on the Pro Controllers that at least would operate in-game. That is of course excluding the Capture Image button, slash Record Video button, and the Home button. You have the four buttons on the left one, and then the four buttons on the right one, for a total of eight, and then you have the two joysticks. You also have the buttons, the bumpers on the side of the Pro Controllers, which may or may not serve a purpose. And that's actually something I should discuss right now. I don't know if these are going to perform with one, con one controller or two, if we're going to hold it vertically or horizontally. That I do not know, but yeah, the cameras are going to be interesting because again, there are a lot of cameras, and there are not many buttons on the Switch. Hello? Hello? FNAF 1 phone calls are obviously going to be the same, and for everyone's surprise, or not surprise, for everyone's liking, appreciation, I guess, Basically, for everyone that doesn't like to listen to Phone Guy over and over again, a mute call button is available. And we also saw them flick through a few cameras, and they are all, of course, identical to the PC. Uh, I to a message for you to help you. Something that is interesting, but then again makes sense when you think about it, the camera bar down at the bottom of the screen that is normally there on PC is not there. And you may say that that could be just something they forgot to add, or something that they forgot to- something they forgot to add, or something that they just haven't done yet. But that is not actually going to appear, because the only reason why it was there on PC was to show players where they need to go to open and close the cameras. Now that it's button-oriented though, there is no need for that camera bar. Oh no. Come on, man. Alright, it's working again. I have no clue what happened. I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first. It seems like everything okay. is going to be uh, just. Let's see. First oh! If you listen very, very, very closely, 
you can actually hear Freddy's little jingle. Not the Toto Marchi plays when you lose power, but his other song. Some people will often forget that he is another one. Do you hear it? You gotta listen very closely. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. And that's it. So thankfully there's gonna be, uh, cool, I guess that's not really an Easter egg, but cool details like that added into the console, and just... Uh, mobile ports and all that stuff so that's really good news so i don't know about you boys but i am very 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 excited for these ports as a proud owner of both the nintendo switch and ios i will definitely ooh notifications i will definitely be getting the ports on both these devices that's how much i'm excited for these ports because not only will i get to experience it um on the nintendo switch but I also want to see, just in case there's any differences on the iOS, or if it's the same thing, and even if it's the same thing, just, you know, being able to play it on different devices is going to be super, super cool. Because again, this is the first time in FNAF history that they have been ported over to other devices properly. They did port them over... <clears throat> they did port over FNAF 1 through 4 and Sys Location over to iOS, I'm not sure if they did to Android um, back when they first came out, but it really wasn't proper. I think it might have been just Scott. He did it by on with himself, jeez. Um, but now he has a full-fledged team helping him out, so I'm really, really excited for this. It did say that they are coming soon. I don't know when that is. It could be a few weeks. It could be a few months. I honestly think it's going to be a few months. I still stand by the claim that it's going to be August 8th. Not only is it the 5th anniversary, half a decade of FNAF, that would be a great way to celebrate it. But also, it's pretty far away, but not too far away, so then they can still finish all the games and fix all the bugs that Darko finds. And I'm just, I'm really, really excited for these ports. Hopefully you guys are as well. So thank everyone so much for watching. Again, if you want to go check out the Twitter video again, it's linked link down below. Thank everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Two videos tonight. You guys are lucky.